Hello all. This is the second video lecture of the C++ with DSA playlist. In this lecture, we will get an introduction about the pseudo codes. And we will see that uh, how a computer reads our code and convert it into machine level language. So uh, let's start with the pseudo code first. So what is what do you mean by pseudo code? So pseudo code is the code which we write while thinking of an approach for solving a uh, given problem statement. Uh, for example, in the previous video, we have discussed three examples of how to draw a flowchart of a given problem statement. In that video, we have discussed three problem statements. Uh, the first one was addition of two numbers. Second was uh, calculating the average of three numbers. And the third was the uh, to print the even numbers of, for a given specific range. Now uh, we will write uh, the pseudo code for all of them. So we are studying that introduction to pseudo codes. In this, the first example, uh, what we will write is to uh, addition of two numbers. So we will write the pseudo code for this. Uh, for addition of two numbers, the first thing is we need to take two inputs from the user. So we are, we are going to take two inputs from the user. Read a comma b. And then we need to perform the addition operation on these two numbers. So I have created one uh, variable by name sum. And in this I am storing the a plus b value. And what next? I need to print this sum. So I have printed the sum. So this piece of code is known as the pseudo code. So this is the approach which I am going to apply in my programming while writing the actual code in the ID. So this is known as the pseudo code. The next thing is the next example we, we have uh, uh, taken in our last video was uh, average of three numbers. So for calculating the average of three numbers, first we need to uh, read the input from the uh, user. We need to take three inputs from the user and uh, so that I have written read a comma b comma c. Next is I have created one variable named as uh, average and in this I will store the average value of these three numbers. So this is the formula for the for calculating the average of these uh, of three numbers. And uh, what next I'm going to do is I'm printing going to print this average value. So I've written this piece of code is known as the pseudo code. So this is the pseudo code for calculating the average of three numbers. And uh, the last example was of uh, printing the even numbers of a, for a particular range. So uh, for printing the even numbers, print even numbers. The first thing we need to take is we need to do is uh, we need to take the input from the user that for which specific range he needs to print the uh, even numbers. So I have initialized one uh, variable by name num and uh, suppose the user has inputted 5 as the input. Now I will initialize another variable which is n. I will initialize it by 0. So I will initialize it by 0 because the uh, least even number is 0. Uh, in the next step, I will check the condition that whether my num n value is less than num, whether my 0 is uh, less than 5. So this, the, uh, this condition is true. So we need to check another condition for this that whether my n modulus 2 is giving me 0 or not. If it is giving me 0, then what I will do? I will print the n value. I'll print the n, n value and with this uh, one more thing I will do. I will update the n value. So I have updated the n value here by using n equals n plus 1 so that it will go to the next value. Now, uh, now the uh, n value is 0 and after completing this step the n value will become 1 
after com again completing this uh, the n value will become 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and then the condition will become false because the n value will become greater than a num so that it will not uh, enter into this loop so if this condition becomes false that if uh, the n value is n modulus 2 is not giving us 0 it is giving us 1 then what it will do it will print that number is odd right and if this particular if this condition becomes false that if n value is not less than equal to num then what it will do it will print that else it will print number is out of range this it will print so this is the pseudo code for printing the even numbers for a particular given range so uh, this was this was the introduction of the pseudo codes now uh, we will discuss some steps for solving any problem statement so uh, for solving any kind of problem statement first we need to uh, understand that problem statement then the second approach is we need to take the input from the user for solving that uh, problem statement then the third is uh, third step is we need to uh, write the approach like in this we have written one pseudo code so this is the approach for solving that problem statement and uh, the fourth and the last step is to code that uh, problem statement in the particular ide which we are using so uh, here the uh, word comes ide well, it is integrated development environment so what ide is it is a it is basically an, an environment where we write our code where we write our programming code like, like uh, we are studying c++ here uh, we generally use two um, uh, ides like uh, first is turbo c++ and uh, another one is dev c++ we use dev c++ more oftenly because uh, it is uh, its controls are quite handy and modern to use so uh, there are various other ides for various other programming languages like for python we use uh, idle uh, Jupyter Notebook in this uh, in Jupyter Notebook we can execute Python codes in uh, Google Colab we can execute Python codes so this also we will study in our uh, another playlist which is a deep learning playlist and in Java we use the IDs like uh, Eclipse etc so uh, this is the IDE the IDE is the environment where we write a particular piece of code now the code which we write, the code which we write in that particular IDE is known as the source code. Now, what is the difference between source code and pseudo code? Pseudo code is the code which we write while uh, writing the approach of that particular problem statement. And pseudo, uh, uh, source code is the code which we are implementing in the IDE. That, uh, that particular piece of code which we are, uh, which we are writing in the IDE. So that is known as the source code uh, so uh, in our what our machine does our machine takes that source code that source code is converted to the machine level code machine level language so what is the machine language machine understands the binary language so there is one translator between this like we are communicating with each other for like uh, I have to communicate from French to Hindi so I need one translator between between us so uh, the same thing is done by this source code is converted to machine level language and there is one translator which works between them so this translator in the coding language we call this translator as compiler what this compiler does the compiler compiles the source code into machine level language which is binary language which is binary language or we can call it a zero language zero one language right so this is the introduction of how we can uh, convert a source code into machine level language. 
in the next video we will be uh, writing our first c++ code which is uh, and we will be we will be writing the uh, namaste bharat as we are uh, indians so stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching till here bye bye thank you